This is the one that we've done earlier and it's been left for two, two days overnight. Um, so now you can see that in the cling film, all that juice from the salmon has come out. So what I do to make life easier, you just slice through the cling film. There is quite a lot of it and it is quite messy. So make sure you've got a nice big bowl close by. It's quite difficult. And then get it into your bowl. And then what you'll find is all that juice. Collect. Now that juice is very salty and not very nice. But you'll see the salmon is now quite a different colour. So the next stage is I'll go and wash this off in the sink. So what I've done is I've washed most of the uh, salt, sugar and dill solution off um, in the sink there. And then really what you just want to do now, don't run it under the water for too long because obviously you're going to be losing a lot of the flavour. So don't get too, it doesn't have to be completely clean. You just want to get mo all this stuff off. If you use a cloth like this, it's better. If you use the uh, paper towel, it can just last bit, all you want to do is just pat that dry and just make sure you don't leave any paper behind so it has become quite sticky. And now that is ready for, um, for slicing up. It will last for about 45 days in the fridge because it's now cured. Um, obviously you can freeze it. I don't like freezing fish because it ruins the texture of the fish. Last thing we do just get some grain mustard, not much, and you just, really it's just smearing it really, you don't really, you're not looking for a, a lot because you've got, you don't want to overpower the salmon with the mustard. And then I just like putting a nice coating of dill. This is a very traditional Scandinavian dish. Gravelax literally translates means buried fish. It was a way of preserving fish before there was refrigeration and all the other processes we have. So it's just a very simple way. Just want simple, clean flavour. So that's your dill crust and just pat it down so it sticks to the fish. And then now this is ready to go. So here we are with the whole piece of Gravelax. Obviously this is a this is about kilo and a half in weight, there's an awful lot of fish here. It's the same kind of, um, it's like smoked salmon, so it's, it's really rich, so you don't need much of it. Start, you always start at the tail end of the fish. The first thing you do is this piece at the end here is gonna be a bit salty and not particularly nice. So take that off. You can use that for canapes, chop it up with some creme fraiche or something like that, but that one's gonna be very strong. And then what you want to do is just very gently run your knife and then get to the end and you don't go through the skin you just take it down twist your knife and therefore you're going to get these lovely pieces of gravel axe whoops so you've got the crust on the top by slicing through the fish, you're going to get all the different textures of the fish. You're going to get the salty crust and then the lovely buttery interior of the fish. So you get a lovely cross section of the salmon. And it's always nicer if you do it to order rather than doing lots in advance. So finally, after two days of uh, waiting, we're finally ready to actually eat what we've made. So a bit of salad. Again, just season that salad with a bit of lemon juice some proper good extra virgin olive oil and I like to put obviously as we've got a bit of a dill theme going on here some dill in there just to keep that whole dill thing going mix it up with your hands don't be afraid to use your hands so we're going to have some lovely crisp fresh winter leaves there then we've got our gravel axe. Now you can get all Sheffy and Ponzi and all that kind of stuff, but what I like to do is just kind of curl it around. So you've got a 
crust at the top there. Now this is going to be a magnificent starter for Christmas Day or breakfast or well, they don't really need an excuse because it's so nice and very very simple. Really you've got very few ingredients there. Let's get that out of the way. So we have a lovely lovely piece of Ravlax there and then we've got this dressing and you just want to not over everything because you don't need much of it you've already got some inches quite rich now what a lot of people do with smoked salmon and Ravlax is they add lemon stay away from it all that the acid is going to do is kill the foot taste and one last little personal thing I love is just the chilli sauce that we made earlier but keep it off the fish because that might not be what people like. And there you are. That is going to impress a mother-in-law no end.